We are not getting to this goal this year and that's okay. There was a study out there that once you reach a certain like salary and all of your basic needs are met, anything extra doesn't really add anything more to your life. It's just extra money. Yes, it's on here. It would be great if I achieved it, but I wouldn't be devastated if I didn't get that number. Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing our mid-year goals check-in. So I will be talking about my financial goals as well as my personal goals and see how we are heading towards them. And if you want to see that, just keep on watching. Getting right into it. So in April of this year, I put out a video of my financial goals for 2023. I had actually written those goals down earlier in the year, so in January, but I didn't put out that video until April because I didn't have YouTube in January. And now that we're six months into the year, I wanted to talk to you guys about how I'm progressing towards my goals, if I think that I am going to achieve them or if I'm going to remove them from the list. I'm also going to be incorporating my personal goals in here. I know that that's something that I haven't shared with you guys yet, so that will be new. Before I start, I should mention that the way that I phrase my goals is very intentional. You will hear me say I will at the very beginning of every goal the goal itself and also a time frame. So time frame can be a date. So I usually say by December 31st, which is obviously the end of the year, or time frame can be a continuous goal. So I can say that I will practice yoga daily or I will attend a class bi-weekly. So daily and bi-weekly would be considered a continuous time frame. So you'll kind of see that in the way that I frame my goals and that is intentional because I feel like if we say I will, as opposed to I hope or I think or I want to, I will has a very like intentional action to it that you will go after something as opposed to you think you should or you want to or you, one day you'll get to it. So that's kind of how I frame my goals and I find that framing your goals in this way really helps you to actually like achieve it. Like you put it into your mind of like, if you write, I will go to yoga daily, you'll kind of trick your mind to actually like do the thing. If that makes sense. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into my financial goals. So goal number one that I set is I will grow my net worth to 200k by December 31st, 2023. I did recently put out a video about my net worth at 29 years old. This was out in March. So fairly recent. I don't think that there is much that I can update you guys on this. It's definitely a stretch goal for me. I'm not sure if I'll hit 200K by the end of the year. If I continue my savings habit and my investing habits, I think that I will get close. I'm putting out a number out there that will stretch me and hopefully by the end of the year, we will get to it. The next goal that I said was I will raise my salary to 130K by December 31st, 2023. This goal is very much related to my nine to five job. I don't actually think I'll get to 130K and as much as I think that I can influence my salary, I'm also kind of tied to the corporation itself. And as hard as I work, it's still up to the company to say how much they want to pay me, if that makes sense. There was a study out there that once you reach a certain like salary and all of your basic needs are met, anything extra doesn't really add anything more to your life. It's just extra money. I think I achieved that contentment with my salary a while ago. And I don't actually know why I put this in my goals list and like why it was so important for me to have this. Maybe I'm just kind of like pushing myself. And I mean, who doesn't want to get paid more at their job? So maybe I was just like trying to motivate myself. I mean, in January, at least for me, I had a totally different mindset. It was this whole like new year type of energy and maybe that's why i put it in there but i would say that raising my salary to that number is less important to me than the rest of the goals that i have so yes it's on here it would be great if i achieved it but i wouldn't be devastated if i didn't get that number goal number three is i will have 20k in my emergency fund by december 31st 2023 I mentioned in that video that I posted about my financial goals that I was really, really bullish on my emergency fund. I also mentioned that I had around 15K in that emergency fund at that time. I actually have less money in that emergency fund. Let's see how much I have right now, actually. So my current balance for my emergency fund is 
$13,594. So we're actually slightly down since I made that video back in April and it was because I had to pay for something. I can't remember what it was, but I used my emergency fund money for that. Yeah, I mentioned in my previous video that I was really bullish on my emergency fund. I really wanted to hit 20,000 and I thought that I could. Now that I think about it, I'm less bullish on my emergency fund and I'm actually more into stocks right now. So if you are a season subscriber and kind of follow along my monthly money resets, you would know that I'm actually putting more money into my Wealth Simple trading account. So I'm putting more money in my stocks as opposed to my emergency fund. I feel like my emergency fund is funded around three to four months and to have 20K in my emergency fund would be around six months of living expenses. So I think I'm in a good place with my emergency fund. And right now I just wanna put more money into the stock market just because it has a larger rate of return versus just putting it in a high yield savings account. So that's kind of the thought process there. I don't think I'll hit 20K in my emergency fund by the end of the year but who knows that might change right now my goal is to get it to 15k by the end of the year and then 20k would be the stretch goal and then goal number four is I will invest in travel and experiences this year so I'm very happy to report that I did achieve this and I want to continue on with this. So the reason why this specific goal is under finances, even though it's kind of a personal goal, is because I had to save up a lot for my trip that had just passed. So I recently went to France for a few weeks. I put money into a sinking fund to be able to do this. and. Although I am able to check this off my goals list, I will continue to do this. Something that I wanna just get in the habit of doing is investing in experiences and in travel and just continuing on with that. The next goal I have in here is I will own a Cartier Tank Louis watch. So again, this goal probably makes more sense in the personal side, but I did put it under financial goals because I had to save up for this watch and I'm happy to report that I have achieved this goal. I am currently wearing the watch right now, actually, and I wear this watch every single day. This is the Cartier Tank Louis. If you are curious about this watch, how much I paid, where I bought it, first impressions, I will link the video here for you guys so you can watch that afterwards. But yes, very happy to say that I have achieved this goal. And then the sixth financial goal I had, which I kind of foreshadowed already is I will continue to invest $200 into my investing account bi-weekly. So this is the Wealth Simple trading account that I was referencing earlier. I have been doing this already since the start of January. I recently made the change to invest $500 bi-weekly instead of $200. So just adding more money into this investing account. I think the best part about this goal is that it forms a like habit to continue to pay myself first and invest in my future so we are well on our way for this goal i did mention in my last monthly reset that 500 dollars might be way too much for me i think that if i had to cut back on my savings i'm gonna start here because 500 just seems like a really aggressive number and my last financial goal is i will hit 100k in revenue for the line by december 31st 2023 if you didn't know the line is my small business and this goal is aggressive i initially put down 75k and i changed it to 100k as my stretch goal last time i checked was a couple days ago i think i'm at 35 Okay. So not even half of what I want to get to, which I think is okay because the brand focuses a lot on stationary goods, which really picks up at around like October, November, and December. I think those will be the busier months and right now during the summertime is less busy, but I don't know if I'm going to hit 100k. I would be really happy to hit 75k. I think that that would be a win for me. And last year for reference, I hit 50k. So we will see. I recently did a photo shoot for the line and we're also introducing new products to the assortment. So I'm really excited about where it's going. I just don't know that I'm going to hit 100K. So that is it for my financial goals. There's definitely been changes in my mindset of like where I want my focus to be in. 
but overall I think we are in a good place. Hi everyone, I'm just editing this video now and I totally forgot to film the giveaway portion so I'm doing it now and I'm inserting it in the middle of this video. I just wanted to say thank you so so much for a thousand subscribers. We hit this milestone last week and I couldn't be more grateful to each and every one of you guys who are subscribed to me and to watch my videos. Thank you so much. And with that, I wanted to do a giveaway. So the giveaway is something from my brand, The Line. I've kind of been expanding to different types of assortments and I introduced a new password holder this month. So I wanted to give one lucky winner a password holder from The Line and it looks like this. It is made out of this luxurious Safiano leather in the color black. And inside there are six card slots here and you can also add in your monogram this is just a sample that we have and this is where you can put in your passport so there's two slots like on the sides here and you can even put your passport inside if you just wanted to keep it really secure and you've got the logo just down here this is what the password holder looks like it's been selling quite well for us actually and i just wanted to give this away to one of my subscribers to show my gratitude and i hope you enjoy the rest of the video next is personal goals so i set six personal goals for myself this year i haven't tried these with you guys before but i can talk through each one of them so the very first goal that I set is I will continue my monthly therapy sessions throughout the year. I think that having someone to talk to who is a third party person will be able to like give me a different perspective, which is pretty objective. I'm finding that monthly therapy has been helpful. The cadence is perfect for me because it's not too frequent, but we are also able to check in with each other every single month. So yes, I have been doing that. The next goal is I will take the time to pause and reflect every month. Again, yes, I have been doing this. I started doing the monthly money resets. I think that is like the perfect time for me to just pause and reflect on how the month has been going. And although I don't film just like my personal reflections, I only film the monthly ones. I think that being able to pause and reflect every single month is a good check-in with yourself just to see how the month has gone and what you're looking forward to. That one is a yes. The third personal goal is I will continue to be mindful of the items that I bring into my wardrobe this year. This one's on and off. Some days I'm really good at it and some days I'm not very good at it. Um, I try to make sure that everything that I bring into my wardrobe is something that will actually stay there for a long time as opposed to it being a trend. I have definitely over consumed in the past, especially like with shopping and I've cut that down immensely, but I'm not perfect. So there are times that I still do that. Like I mentioned in my previous monthly money that I spent a lot pre Paris because I felt like I didn't have anything in my closet when I probably did. So definitely not perfect, but I am working on it. The fourth goal is I will read 50 books this year. Let's see where I'm at. <laughs> I am at 10 books this year. I feel like that might not be up to date. Anyway, we're at around 10 books this year. I usually read or listen to audiobooks um, and read books on my Kindle. So I don't do a lot of like physical books because I just don't have space for them in my small apartment. I find that listening to audiobooks makes me read more as well as my Kindle. I just, I love my Kindle so much. I need to get going on this goal because I am at 10 and we are halfway through the year. Next goal is I will have a regular yoga practice. Again, this one is a bit on and off. I haven't really been consistent. When I say regular, I mean two to three times a week. And some weeks I would do one, some weeks I can do the three, and some weeks I don't go at all. So definitely have not been consistent with this. I wish I had more time to do it. I feel like it's easier in the summer, so hopefully I can get better at this this time of the year. But sometimes in the winter it's tough because it's so rainy here in Vancouver that I just don't even want to leave my house. But I will work on this goal because I haven't been consistent at it. And my last personal goal that I set for this year is I will teach my first yoga class by May 31st, 2023. 
If you didn't know, I recently did my yoga teacher training certificate last year and I got certified early this year and when I set this goal, I was all in on yoga. I wanted to teach my first class by the end of May and it just didn't pan out that way. So I ditched this goal back in March. Like at that time, I knew I wasn't going to be able to do this goal because there was just so much time that I needed to allocate to practicing how to teach yoga that I didn't, I just did not have that time. Or maybe I did have that time, but I prioritized doing other things. Maybe my side hustle, maybe YouTube. It's currently June 13th and I have not taught my first yoga class. I haven't even practiced teaching yoga. So I don't think that I will get to this goal this year, if ever. I don't know, like when I first started my yoga teacher training, I knew that I didn't want to teach. I just wanted to take it to deepen my yoga practice. And then during my training, that's when I thought like, hey, I could do this. And now post-training, I actually, not that I don't want to teach yoga, I just, I don't want to teach it right now. Maybe sometime in the future I will teach yoga, but I don't think it's a priority for me right now. So we are not getting to this goal this year. And that's okay because I've identified my priorities this year and teaching yoga or practicing teaching yoga is not one of them. And those are the goals that I have set for myself for 2023. Let me know down below what some of your goals are. I would love to read them. And if you guys have any questions for me, please make sure to leave them in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.